Hey everyone, Jordan Cron here with Meaningful Marketing. Uh, if you've come across this video, either through Google or YouTube, you've probably been searching for something like, why is my website not showing up on Google? Um, and I'm going to walk you through that. Um, if you have come to the, the video through YouTube, you want to click on the link at the bottom of the video to go to the blog post where I give you a little bit of background of how I've gotten here. I'm talking about a particular client we've just come across and seen some bad links for them. Um, so once you've read that post, you're going to get caught up and then you're going to want to click on the link to download the SEO Quake extension for Chrome. So once I've done that, you'd have to click on that link. You'll hit Add to Chrome and it'll open your Chrome browser. I'm also going to include a link for Mozilla to download it in that blog post. So once you've done that, you're going to want to get into Chrome and you want to go to Tools, Extensions, and you're going to list all your extensions here. And you're going to see SEO Quake at some point. I've already got it enabled and downloaded. Uh, once you've downloaded it, you'll see it in gray. You'll want to click Enable. And now we'll see it up here on our uh, toolbar right beside our URL bar. Um, then what you're going to want to do is click on it and hit Enable. So then it's now green. So now it's enabled. Now the next step is to go into Webmaster Tools. And if you don't have Webmaster Tools set up, I'm going to have a link in that blog post as well. Uh, and below this video to show you how to set up Webmaster Tools. I did another video on that. Um, then once you've got Webmaster Tools set up for your website, you'll be able to find out where the links um, from other websites are coming into yours. So the client we're working on again is dryway.ca. So once you've got your Webmaster Tools set up, you'll see a, an area for your website. You're going to click on that website name, you're going to click on search traffic, and then links to your site. And then you're going to see three, 835 total links. We're going to click on more below. And then we're going to want to do download latest links. And then you want to download a little CSV file. So that's going to show you all the backlinks coming from other websites to yours. Now to speed things up for this video, we're going to show you just three links that we've come across for this particular client, Dryway. So the first one we see, and then once we've got our little SEO quake, um, so once you click on all of the links that you have in that Excel spreadsheet, you're going to click on it. Once an SEO quake is enabled, you're going to see this bar here. So I'll first kind of walk through the bar and what to look for. So a few things to look for, PageRank, Google PageRank, you want to look for websites that have a 2 or above. Anything less uh, is not bad, 1 or 0, but if you see a non-applicable, then that's not a good sign. And same with Pages Index, non-applicable, that's not a good sign either. Uh, SEM links and uh, link domain, this is the one you want to look for. So you want to look for websites that have at least 500 of uh, links. If you click on this button here, you can actually see some of these links coming into this website, not yours, uh, that have uh, been uh, look found by, I guess, SEM Rush. SEM Rush is a free product for a certain point, but then you have to pay for it. So we're going to see a few pages here that are linking back to this one here where a client has a link on uh, and just determine you know you can see a few websites uh, some of them you know don't look great um, we're not really looking so much for the links the type of websites it's the number of links you know overall I'd say that's a good number you want to look for websites that have at least about three or four hundred links coming into it before you put your link on that website next thing to look for is the Alexa rank um, Alexa is kinda of like a website grader it gives websites uh, a grade and gives them a rank at all the websites on the internet. This one here has a rank of 9,220,000. You know, not a good ranking, uh, considering that is a fairly old domain age. So, you know, what we're looking for out of those few things, we're looking for again a Google page rank of at least one or two. If you can find three or four, that's great. Five and above is awesome. You want to know that there's at least uh, a couple hundred pages indexed, but no more than say a thousand because that's a bit too much. If a, page, a website has over a thousand pages but is on a Google page rank, then it's spammy in Google's eyes. Uh, links, you want to see at least 400 plus links in this area. Uh, the Alexa rank should be below 1 million. Um, 2 million is not bad, but if you can find a website to get a link on, that's 1 million or below, that's good. This one has a, a link, uh, Alexa rank of 9 million, not great. And then domain age, you want to look for a website that has a domain of at least uh, a couple of years old. You don't want to try to get anything on a new domain.
So that's what to look for when determining if a website is spammy or not. Um, I'm just going to walk you through one of the links we found for Dryway here. This is the website, uh, noelinfoservices.com. You know, it's a nice to have a .com backlink. But within this article itself, we see that we have, you know, an article here. And then we see at the bottom, Carpet Cleaning Victoria is the anchor text. And that links to our client's webpage, dryway.ca. And then we also have another link here that links to their environmental friendly carpet cleaning. So through the link audit, we've found that there are too many anchor text links with this carpet cleaning Victoria. And those are the terms that our client's websites, uh, website has been uh, penalized for. Uh, as I mentioned in our blog post, his page title is Carpet Cleaning Victoria BC. But what's happening, he's not even showing up on page 10 for that term. So he's been penalized strictly because there are too many anchor text links that have Carpet Cleaning Victoria heading back to his website. So you're looking for a couple different things here. And that is, again, the quality of the domain. And by those factors I talked about earlier. And then also what type of anchor text links you have back to your website. So to avoid this, if you're getting links on other websites, you want to vary your anchor text. You can have your business no domain, uh, business name linked to your domain. You could have carpet cleaning in Victoria. You could have just carpet cleaning like there. But whatever you want to do, you want to make sure you vary it up and don't have the same anchor text. Because if you have too many anchor text links that are the same, and if they're your keyword, it's going to be deemed spammy in Google's eyes. So we've got two things in play here, and that's one, we have our client's link on a bad website that's been deemed spammy by Google and then two we have a bad anchor text link so as you go through your spreadsheet from webmaster tools with all your latest links you'll be able to determine that with the SEO quick plugin and just by looking at the link itself and then we notice there are a couple other links as well uh, for a client um, and I wrote a blog post about uh, getting link requests from other websites or webmasters they want you to have uh, their link on your website and then they'll put a link back to your website. Doing that type of partner reciprocal link will devalue the link and it won't help you in the long run. Long run. Um, but it's uh, it, what we see here on this page is we have a link on the sidebar of this blog and this is what they call a, a blog roll or a link roll and these types of links aren't, don't have value. You want to try to get a link within the content of a blog post um, so if you can get a link in here, it's way more valuable than anything on the sidebar. And that was done again on another website we found our client's link on, papublishing.com, in this article here. But we can see that it's pretty much the same article. I'm going to bring that article up. That's another thing to watch out for, too, is the types of articles. So this particular client of ours, he had an SEO company write one blog post and then get it published on a bunch of different blog posts. And, and that's a no-no in Google's eyes because duplicate content is a huge thing. And they're going to find out by doing all their little crawling on all these websites. So they're going to see that this article is on this website as well. And that's going to hurt this website, you know, papublishing.com and noelinfraservices.com because they have probably done this more than a, a few times. So duplicate content is going to hurt these domains here as well as our client's link as well. So going back to this PA Publishing website, we can see, you know, again, they have a, a better Alexa rank but an older domain. Anytime a domain's 15 or 16 years older, it should have a better Alexa rank and a better Google page rank. Uh, and the fact that it has over 1,200 pages indexed, that's a big uh, alarm bell ringing for me right there. So, again, I told you earlier what to look for when it comes to Alexa rank, Google page rank, how many pages are indexed in the age domain to determine if a website's spammy or enough. But at the end of the day, what's really killing this client of ours is these carpet cleaning Victoria search anchor text links back to his website. So, uh, those are just a couple things that might be hindering your website's rankings. Um, I'm going to be publishing another video on another blog post in a couple days talking about how to disavow these links and how to have Google not take into account these links so that you can recover from any penalty, uh, penalty you've had from Google for certain search terms. So again, I'm going to do a video on blog posts in the coming days, so be sure to, to subscribe to my email newsletters on my website or my YouTube channel where I'll go over that. Uh, thanks, and if you have any questions, please post them below in the comments section, and I'll get to those.